hello friends today we are going to learn to create triple s maps in photoshop so let start the photoshop and start creating maps first, first of all i am going to create a spectral map so here is our photoshop as if we are creating these maps you, you have already created your diffuse map I have also one diffuse map on which I will create all the triple S maps so go to Camtasia and I have my own folder that is maps here I am having diffuse map <coughs> So to create uh, a specular map, just take a copy of this map by pressing Ctrl J and go to edit, sorry, go to adjustments and desaturate this image. Now it is black and white. Now take another copy by pressing Ctrl Z on the keyboard and go to filter, other and high pass. Oh, sorry high pass set the value to 5 or you can take 8 means uh, you have to take value from 5 to 10 then you can take 10 also uh, I generally use 5 and now this set overlay to the blending mode see the difference how the details had been added and now press ctrl J and ctrl L and adjust the levels little bit darker now go to filter blur surface blur set the value to 14 to 15 moreover you can take 20 that's enough <coughs> and then just hit ok your specular map is ready oh my system is a little bit slow now just save this image as specular map face s b c u l r specular texture one more map we using triple s that is face as uh, that is a specular blur map to create that one just open the this uh, newly saved specular map and go to filter apply blur gaussian blur and set the value to 15 and hit ok and now save this face as specular blur means till now we have created two maps now time to create epidermal subdermal <coughs> close this one delete this now create now we will create epidermal and subdermal here i have explained all the methods and each step which i ha which i am doing in a word file in a word file also So now create a subdermal map. Uh, control U means hue saturation setting and set the saturation value to 22. Okay, control save as to save. This is your subdermal.
and now next is your epidermal map for epidermal map you have to just set your saturation value to minus 22 and you are done here we go <coughs> set the value to minus 22 and you are done with the epidermal also Now we need two more maps that is um, face back scatter map and <coughs> bump map. So here we are going to create face back scatter map. Oh, here I have explained the method how to create face back, back scatter map. Just set the value here minus 22 saturation plus 50 and apply Gaussian blur 15 pixel set the value to minus 22 and saturation value to 50 press ok sorry uh, now go to filter blur Gaussian blur 15 ok hit control shift test to save as change the name here that is back scatter now press control Z control Z this is the your original diffuse texture now we have to create bump map so we can take the specular texture to create bump map. Press Ctrl J. You can adjust little bit exposure here. now again go to filter other high pass this time I'm using it 15 ok now change the blending mode this one is good giving good effect of bump but we cannot use this we can use this uh, by setting these values and highlighting now this will not work just make it soft control L and adjust it a little bit darker this will be your bump map So here is the my folder of newly created maps which is located on desktop. Uh, 
in the Camtasia folder maps so here all maps are available now just call these maps in your shader and adjust your lighting accordingly and hit render button this one is subdermal this one is the specular face specular blur and this is epidermal face diffuse texture the original one is here and this is one is bump texture and this one is back scatter texture hope you guys have learned to create these maps thanks for watching the video